it is time to grab your dose of compassion. Share your story and solve your anxiety and depression. Welcome to Keep Calm in a Crazy World with your host, Jody Amen. Everybody, welcome to Keep Calm Radio with me, Jody Amen. I am so happy that you're here because I have the best treat tonight. And I know I say that every Monday, but I work so hard. Tom's laughing here next to me. I do work so hard bringing you this great, great people. Hi, Nikki. I, I work hard bringing you these great people because I know I, I, I've talked to so many of you every week, you know, in counseling sessions or see your comments online. And I know how many things you struggle with. And so I'm like, what can I give him this week? And so I wrote Tom. Hi, Peyton. And so I wrote Tom. Thanks for sharing, Nikki. And every, everyone, please share this video. Please pass it with as, to as many people as you can, um, as always, on, on uh, Mondays at 6. I'm here live every week, except for next week. I'm sorry, I won't be here next Monday. I'm just going to cancel the show next Monday because um, it's all about my son next week. It's his last week home for and, and taking him to college next week. So um, I'm going to fully focus on that. But as you all know, let me make some announcements here. As you all know, my coloring book is launching next Wednesday, the 23rd. Woo! Hi, Helen. And so the 23rd, thank you for all the hearts. What a lovely, lovely um, greeting this is. I would love you if you would like to buy a coloring book on the 23rd, buy yourself a coloring book. There's a lot of great energy coming out of this book. The artist and my daughter and myself and the person who formatted, hi Justin, the person who formatted the book, um, just amazing healers everyone and so I'm so excited to just have this in your hands next Wednesday. If you want to be part of that launch, if you want to help me share it, the link is above this video. There's also Tom's website, and I'm going to tell you about Tom in just a moment. But there's that link. Click it now. It's 30 seconds. You just click it, and you're agreeing to share a Facebook post on the morning of the 23rd so that the most people possible can hear about this awesome coloring book. All right. Well, without further ado, I'm going to introduce Tom, and I will turn it towards him in a second. He's got glasses, so we have to change the lighting when I swing the camera around. But... Okay, everyone, I'm so happy to introduce Tom. I've known Tom for several years. He's an, a mental health counselor in Rochester, and so we've treated some of the same clients. I went to one of his groups to learn a little bit more about EFT um, because I started learning about EFT about 20 years ago, and it's it been fascinating from the get-go. And so a few years ago, I said, I want to go deeper. And so I went to one of Tom's groups. He does these groups if you're in Rochester and want to join one of Tom's groups, he'll tell you about that at the end of the show and how you could do that. But Tom is just a, a wonderful person, a wonderful soul, a great healer, cares so much about his clients. You'll see that as soon as you meet him. He works with people with trauma, anxiety, depression. You know, he uses tapping with anything and everything, help people quit smoking. It's just amazing. So I'm going to introduce Tom. We're going to hear a little bit about him. Let me turn the camera here. There he is. I'm going to turn this light off so he's not reflected there. So Tom, thank you so much for being here. We're going to talk in this microphone because we're recording okay. it too. Yep. And uh, Tom, why don't you start? And Barb, I'm going to get to your question. If you have a question there, I'm going to get to it in a little bit because I'm going to hear from Tom. So tell me... How did you, well, I don't know, do you want to answer how you got into EFT or how you got into mental health counseling? <laughs> or are they both the same story? They're not, no, they're not the same story. And thank you, first of all, thank you for inviting me. I'm really ha happy and honored to be here. Um, no, they're not the same story. <laughs> but they're, you know, they're long journeys. Um, we all have long journeys. The, the mental health part is a, is a really long journey. So let's leave that alone, okay? Because okay? right. we're here to talk about EFT or emotional freedom technique. Some people call it tapping. So how did I get introduced to it? The short version. The short version. And is, we'll tell you what it is if you don't know. So don't worry. Stick with us. We're yeah. going to see why he came to it, and then we're going to tell you. And and the story is on my website too. Okay, cool. So so people, if they want the long version, the elaborate version. The link can, is attached to this video too yeah. for his website. Um. 
it's, it's on my website. But anyway, I was at a conference in Jamaica. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> really? <laughs> and and is there one this year? Uh, no, you know, I, was, I haven't been. I haven't been to one in a long time because it was it was the transactional analysis <laughs> community that had a conference down there in the wintertime, um, and I've kind of like distanced not any particular reason, but I don't belong to that community anymore because I'm in the energy psychology work. Yeah. That's another name for an energy energy, energy psychology. psychology. So, and there are more. There are other processes that fall into that category besides EFT, but we're not going to go there. Um, so, you know, it's the first time off the continental United States. 97 since I got home from Vietnam in 71 um, and it's, you know, it's beautiful there so I decided hey what, go on yeah. an adventure take a risk yeah. and go on an adventure right Thanks. so um, I organized a snorkeling party and we go snorkeling and the water's a little rough and it's a little chilly so the body starts reacting when your body when the water's cold uh -huh. your body starts going <gasps> every time I got my face in the water uh -huh. I got tired out and I look around for the boat, and it's not close. Oh. And I, I, you know, I can't, I don't think I can swim over there, so I put my hand up thinking, they're going to drive the boat over, and I'm just going to climb up on the boat, and done, yeah, right. done deal, right? right? No, they, you know, they do the lifeguard rescue thing. The guy swims over, grabs me, pulls me back up on the boat. And the minute I sat down on the boat, it, instantaneously, I started sobbing. Oh. And I had no idea what happened. I just, pow, waterfalls, intense waterfalls, two people on the boat no, knew the tapping. And, I, and they were part of the oh, community, they're oh. part of the conference. And you know, they're going, can we tap on you? <laughs> so they start tapping on me, somebody's tapping on my face, somebody's tapping on my fingers, I have no idea who's doing what. They're saying things, I'm just like, ah. and before I know it, this whole terror thing just calmed right down in, wow. in, in less than five minutes. I'm like on the boat with him. Are you all <laughs> on the boat with him? I could feel it. In less than five minutes. Okay? Yeah. So it, it calms down. It pops back up again. They do some more tapping. It calms down. It pops back up again. They do some more tapping. It calms down. It stays down. And we're talking again. The whole thing. Less than... Like you just were home from Vietnam for a few... For... I mean... The, yeah. It's 20 years later. 20 years later. 20 years later. 20 years later. But it, it's just... In less than 10 minutes total, yeah. less than 10 minutes total, and I'm sitting there going, it's like, wow, what did just, what just happened? It's that mind-blowing. What just happened? EFT is that mind-blowing. So, you know, that was my introduction to it. Um, you know, I had another healing crisis a few months down the road, and then at that point, I went, you know, i got to get trained and learn it, and the rest is history. And I started learning it um and at that time, you could buy the VHS tapes and sit in your living room and learn how to do it. Um, not so true anymore, but that's what I did. I started yeah. Yeah. learning it in my, in my um, home. And two weeks later, I'm working with a trauma client. And I'm going... Were you already a therapist? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I was like my first full year. This is the thing. There's, it can't do harm. You can't this do is what's so awesome about it is that you can learn this at home. You can do it from a video. You can go on YouTube. There's millions of things. You can do it at home because it's safe. So after two weeks of learning it, Tom was already using it successfully. Actually. Successfully. Amazing. Absolutely successfully. He's um, incredibly successful. <laughs> so, yeah, you, you can learn to do it on your own. There's plenty of videos on YouTube. It's safe. You can't do anything wrong. The worst that can happen is nothing happens. You don't get any, you know, get any results. So, word of caution on YouTube, though, there's all kinds of variations out there. They don't necessarily go into all the details of what you would really need to know to do this. Give us some names of the people. Are you on there? Are you on YouTube? Um, yeah, I'm on YouTube. Those, those videos. Um, on your website, they can find it. They can find me on the website, and that's when I was working with a veteran in Channel 8, did the news story on okay. in Rochester. Awesome. So, um... You know, some people like to do scripts, and the scripts are like hand grenades. You get close, but you got to be really accurate with your words right. to to get good results because we're working with the subconscious. It's very literal. Right. So, you know, the word arithmetic might work for somebody, and math will work for somebody okay. else, and that cross. Okay. You know? So it might be hard to understand before we really know what it is. Sure. So tell us what it is. So What is EFT? EFT is based in acupuncture, emotional freedom technique. There are 14 acupuncture points on your body that 
you you learn to tap on while you're tuned in to a distressful situation. So you know, Jody works with a lot of anxiety clients, mm -hmm. and, and it's really good for anxiety. You gotta define what's causing the anxiety. Um, I'm, af I'm afraid. I'm afraid of somebody judging me. For example. Yeah, it's a big one. Okay. Who has that one? <laughs> Who doesn't have that one, right? Um, Helene says, "Thank you for your service." Thank you, Helene. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that. Um, and that's, but that's why I also do what I do with the veterans. I give them six free sessions because they 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 really deserve that. Um, yeah. More than I mean, <laughs> yeah, more than that. Yeah. Uh, but we can do a lot in six sessions. Um, we have an eighty-five percent success rate with veterans. Eighty. Eighty-five percent. Awesome. And it's it's amazing. So sixty-three percent reduction in symptoms. It's sustainable. So we've tracked veterans out eighteen months, a year, two years. My, it's mind blowing. It's, I mean, it's mind blowing. Yeah. People are suffering so much. Okay, so tell us what it is. So again, it's, there's fourteen points. On your on your body, so some of them are on your face, and I'll name them in a minute. I'm just going to point to them. Some of them are on your torso, and some of them are on your hand. Okay, so you get a quick rundown, and there's one back here. Um, we'll do it, so you have to remember. So Plus, gonna, you'll have this video. You can watch right. it over and over. We're going to show you how to do it. We're going to we're going to do a generic generic tapping. And do it with us because it's safe. Yes, please do it with us. Again, it's going to be generic, so. You know, you might not get any specific sensations, and you might, because because unconsciously you might have tuned into something, and it might um, show itself up, and you might go, oh, wow, there that is, and it doesn't bother me anymore. Right. So there's this whole phenomenon called borrowing benefits, which is what we used in, in group, yeah. because if Jody's tapping on something that's her issue, and I'm just tapping along, or other people are tapping along, and they've been tuned into something, they're going to get results even though we're tapping on Jody's issue right. using her words. Because we can all relate to each other, too. That's, that's right. You so, know, fear is fear. Fear is fear. We have a lot of common fears. So, so the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to make up what's called a setup phrase. And the setup phrase sounds like this. Even though I have this problem, even though I'm afraid of being judged, for example, I deeply and completely accept myself. Now that last part of the sentence could be a stopper for some people. They'll get to that point and they'll go, no, I don't accept myself. So if How many of you, give me thumbs up or hearts if you could relate. And please share this video. Yeah, and, and it's okay. If you can say the words and fake it till you make it, act as if, that's great. But some people can't. They'll just put the brakes on and say, I can't, I can't say that. So you find out something else that you can use, like um, I accept myself as best I can, or I'm doing the best I can. It's important though because what we're acknowledging is that as a human being, we are okay even though we have this issue. So much of what happens out there makes us not okay because we have anxiety, yeah. depression, post-traumatic stress disorder, yada, 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 yada. The reality is those are symptoms, that's a behavior, and we as human beings are okay just the way we are. So we need to learn to accept ourselves with these problems, issues, some people might call them shortcomings, it does, whatever you want to call it, it doesn't matter. I'm willing to accept myself even if I have this issue. Oh, it's so important. This is almost the most important thing. It I is. Mean, it's so it, it important, is. right? That's why I talk about self-compassion constantly. It's it, Yeah, it it's is a form of self- It's the one thing that blocks us so much. It like this a, negative self-judgment right. on our problems really keeps us from healing. And so it is a, it is a good form of self-compassion. I'm okay just the way I am, even though I have this problem. So anyway, you make up that phrase, even though I have this problem, I deeply and completely accept myself. You're going to start what's called the karate chop point or the side of the hand right right below your little finger, that fleshy point right below the little finger and you're going to tap there and you're going to say that phrase three times and you don't have to tap hard okay you just very lightly tap there and say even though I have this problem even though I have this fear I deeply and completely accept myself I deeply and completely accept myself even though I have this fear of being judged even though I have this fear of being judged, I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I have this fear of being judged. Even though I have this fear of being judged. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely okay. accept myself. Now you're going to tap on your eyebrows right by the bridge of your nose. Okay. 
okay? And you're going to shorten it down, and we're going to shorten it right down to the fear of being judged. Fear of being judged. And you're going to tap on each point until you finish the phrase. And so sometimes the phrases are going to be longer, and you're going to tap on each point longer. And you're going to repeat that phrase on every point. So you're going to tap on the outside corner of your eye, and you're going to say, fear of being judged. Fear of being judged. And you're going to tap right under your eye. And say the fear of being judged. Fear of being judged. You're going to tap under your nose. Fear of being judged. Fear of being judged. Right in the crease of your chin. Fear of being judged. Fear of being judged. On your collarbone. So it's right where those knots are where your collarbone meets the sternum. Okay, fear of being judged. Fear of being judged. Right under your arms. Fear of being judged. Okay. Now you're going to tap on the side edge of your thumb, by, right, right by your fingernail. Fear of being judged. Fear of being judged. Same place on your index finger. Fear of being judged. Fear of judged. being judged. Middle finger. Fear of being judged. I'm going to skip the ring finger. I'll tell you why in a minute. Little finger. Fear, fear of being, being judged. judged. And on your karate chop point again. Fear, fear of being, being judged. judged. This is called the nine gamut back here. I'll explain that one to you a little bit more. But you're going to say the fear of being judged. Fear of being judged. And then you're going to close your eyes. And then you're going to open your eyes. And then with your eyes only, look down to the right with your eyes. And then down to the left with your eyes. And then move your eyes in a square in one direction. And I'm watching Jody's eyes here. <laughs> and then you're going to move them in a square in the other direction. Okay. Good. And you're going to hum happy birthday. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Count mm -hmm. to five out loud. One, two, three, four, five. And hum happy birthday again. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then we're going to start all over again. Fear of being judged. Fear of being judged. Fear of being judged. Fear of being judged. I'm so afraid of being judged. I'm so afraid of being yeah. judged. I'm so scared. I'm so scared that people are going to judge that me. That people are going to judge me. Fear of being judged. Fear of being judged. Fear of being judged fear, by others. Fear of being judged by others. Under your arms. Fear of being judged. Fear of being judged. On your thumb. Fear of being judged. Fear of being judged. Index finger. Fear, fear of being, being judged. judged. Little middle finger. Fear of being judged. And little finger. Fear of being judged. And you're going to take a deep breath. Okay. Good. Do y'all do that? Give me some thumbs up if you did that. What'd you think? Or, or comment. Wow. So, Woo. I forgot to explain something, though. I left a piece out. That when you start, you measure what's called SUDs, subjective units of distress. So when you tune into the fear of being right. judged, for example. How bad is it? How intense is it? Ten! Ten, ten being thing, nail in the meter, okay? Some people can be... Give me a thumbs up if you have a ten. Fear of being judged. And you might not be... Before. Yeah. Before we did it. We before had, we did it, yeah. I already forgot. I always we, do that with my clients. I'm always like, oh, wait, can you think about before? <laughs> I forgot. You're not alone. I forget, too. <laughs> so, so, that once you, so you start out with that intensity there. Let's, say, let's just say it was a 10, and we did a round of tapping. Now you go back, and you check the, the suds again. Uh -huh. And maybe you're down to a 4. Maybe you're down to a 2. Maybe you're down to a 0. There's no right or wrong right. about it. It's just what it is. So if there's still some intensity left, then you just start over again. And do the whole thing and again. And do the whole thing again. Now listen, watch this video again and get a piece of paper out. Draw your head and shoulders and put X marked. You know, tell yourself what to do. Remember that first, what did you call that first? Set sentence? up phrase. Set up, I don't, I just, I don't, I call it accept myself phrase. Yeah, that's fine. But the set up phrase, write that down. Leaving the blanks, even though I have this fear of blank, or even though I have this anxiety, whatever, even though I have this sadness, Helene says she's sad. Yep. You write that down, and then, um, and then write, you know, I just draw like, I don't know if you could see this, maybe not because it's so much light, but I just kind of draw like a head and shoulders and then a hand. This is what I draw for my clients so that, can you see that? So the, and then I put the X, do, do you approve of this? Sure. Yeah. So, and then I put the X's where, you know, like you could keep going, but I was like, I go one, two, three, four, and put the, and so you could write that down so you could do this over and over again. And there's, and there's charts on the internet. If you, if you type in EFT charts or tapping point charts, though, there's all kinds of charts that will come up that show the tapping points. Now. What I just showed you was the original version, okay. which has now become to be called the clinical EFT. Okay. Okay. There's another one that's a shorter version where they leave out the hand. Right. So they, they do the eyes or they do the face, the, you know, the collarbone, under the arm. Uh, they start out with a karate chop and then they leave everything else out. Um, I don't necessarily agree with that and I'll tell you why.
Okay. Um, and this all ties together here. So the reason, first of all, the reason we skip the ring finger is because there's a meridian point here uh -huh. and a meridian point here and not one here. Okay. It's on the other side. What is a meridian point? Okay, a good question. It's on the other side. Oh, okay. But we also catch it back here. So that's oh, why okay. we do the back of the hand. A meridian, mm -hmm. yeah, a meridian point is the end of a meridian. And a meridian is like a pathway in your body where the energy flows along. Up until recently, they haven't been able to really prove that they're there, but they are, and they're exactly where the Chinese said they were thousands of years ago. It's amazing. Isn't it amazing? Yeah. And in fact, I, just, I think ancient medicine is right. yeah, so advanced. You remember the ice man that they found frozen in the Alps? Yeah. He's got tattoos on his body where the, where the meridians are. It's cool. So this, this it. ancient, ancient um, knowledge that has been lost, and yet there it is. And I don't know how they knew where it was, but scientific methods that we have now, they've actually been able to prove that they're there. Um, I'm sure that if they looked at functional MRIs, they could see the energy yeah. moving in some way, right. shape, or form. Right. So, I don't know. We don't have time to do that. Right. But, but each meridian has a beginning point and an end point. And so these are the ends. So these okay. are the end points, okay? So we're tapping at the end of the meridian right. points. Right, right. And again, the, the, the ring finger is on the opposite side, so rather than having you change, we just keep going in the same pattern and, and catch, catch it, it back here. here. And the reason I like this one, and the reason I think it's important, is because this is what's connected to what's called the triple warmer. And the triple warmer is connected to fight, flight and freeze. Mm -hmm. We know about that. So when you're working with anxiety, when you're working with traumas, it's really important to get the triple warmer calmed down because it's the one that, that <laughs> takes you off into wherever you go uh, or causes you to freeze or shut down. So this is why... Starting in there. Starting in there. And also with the eye rolling, um, okay. it, integrates, yeah, it integrates left and right brain activities. Sometimes the things are stuck in the left side, sometimes they're stuck in the right side. But the other thing, too, is that when people roll their eyes or move them in a square, either one, sometimes they get stuck in, in a position with their eyes. And that's because they're accessing some information unconsciously. Ooh. And if I ask them, they generally can say, oh, yeah, that's, that's what's there. Yeah. And if not, then I just have them track my fingers so that they move through it. And one of the things that you're going to experience when you're using this is your body's going to you know, do some kind of sign that energy has shifted, energy has changed. And the most common one is that people start to sigh. So they, oh, right. mm -hmm. you'll see them do that. They might not even be aware of it. So pay attention to what your body's Yawn. saying, what you're doing. Yawning is Yawning. another big one. Um, some people start burping. You know, mm -hmm. there's all kinds of things that happen. I don't take any offense to any of it. No, it's, you know that something's <laughs> it, working. I know that right. something's working, you know. Yeah. So that's that's the basis of it. Uh, it's very profound. It's very powerful. Everybody's going to respond differently to it. So so sometimes things are going to collapse really quick, and sometimes they're not. Yeah. Now the talking part I find is really important because I think sometimes I do the talking part without the tapping. Okay. I, I know I do it. I know that's I'm, I'm veering off here. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to. I'm I'm going to talk about that a different time. Okay. But the. But the, the, what you're saying, what Tom says as he's talking, and I know we can't get into it tonight. Maybe we'll just have you back on and we'll go sure. into depth. I, who would like that? If Tom was back on and we did some more practicing, that would be kind of fun, wouldn't it? Because yeah, I want to get to your questions. We're, we're almost out of time, and I just want to get to some people's questions so that you could ask Tom directly. I see some coming in. Sure. But, um, you know, the, you were staying... The reason why I said that you prompt me because you were talking about having those exact words, you know. Even though I'm afraid, you know, of making mistakes. Mm -hmm. What having the, like really talking about what it is? It's like a release of it. Yeah, there's actually three components, Jody. Yeah. There's an exposure when you tune into yeah. the issue and you feel the distress. That's exposure therapy. Right. right. So, so the words is kind of like the your cognitive. Your is being triggered, yep. and the tapping's pushing that trigger back down. Right. And so fixing it on the brain level, fixing it on the brain level, on the chemical level inside of the amygdala, calming down the stress reaction. The yes, yeah. Um, so there's the exposure. There's the cognitive. You know the words you're right. saying. The words that's the cognitive, and this is the somatic, touching the body. Right. So oh, there's yeah. three different kinds of therapy really involved in this. 
Um, and the words are important. So important. And you can change the words as you saw me do with Jody, but we kept the same theme of being afraid. But sometimes afraid. you get deeper stuff, it comes out. Absolutely. Like, Absolutely. Like, oh, which, Absolutely. You know, you, the top layer comes off and something else pops up behind it. It's like I'm really afraid it. that people will hurt me if they judge me. Yeah. You know, they'll, you know, whatever. All yeah, right. so right. if you're ready to take questions, yeah, we can do that. Who is mind as well? Let me see if there's any back in the beginning here. Hello, everybody. Thanks so much for being on. Um, Barb's been u using EFT for a decade, and she's done Gary, uh, Gary Craig. Yep. And worked and with the master, it and it works. It, it really helped with a lot of things for her. But she asked a question later on. She said, can you do too much EFT where you end up feeling worse or more anxious or speed it up? I have. It's like too much healing and pace for healing is too much. Okay. And while we're while we're speaking back to Barb, if you have a question, type it on really quickly because we don't have much time. So Barb is saying, did you hear that? Can you do too much? She's gotten more anxious or sped up, like it was too much healing, too much energy too, moving too fast, yeah. and that. Was um, that that you might experience something like that because EFT has has this phenomena of uncovering deeper stuff. Um, usually, at least personally, if I'm uncovering deeper stuff, I, I keep going until I'm calmed down, I'm settled down, and it's not affecting me anymore. That doesn't necessarily apply to everybody. So if you feel like you're doing too much, stop. You can always pick it up later. Yeah. You know, but everybody's or follow through because you're on purpose. You're kind of triggering your amygdala, right? It's exposure. You're right. triggering it, and then with the tapping and the talking, you're pushing it back down. But there's also if you know we we didn't go into this too much, but we do the tapping with the fear. But if you sit in the room with Tom and you're doing it, then there's a the repeat. You're repeating the new story. Mm -hmm. Like a, you know, a, a, I don't. I can't think of an example. Like I'm safe or something. I mean, you're and you're tapping in the new right. We, there's a thing called the choices method, which which is tapping in the totally total opposite of what you're so you dealing with. So you release it, so and then you bring saying, in I'm, the good. I'm, instead of saying I'm afraid of something, I'm safe. Yeah. You know, there's there's lots of variations that can yeah. be done. It's taken me years to understand all of it um, and, and implement it. And so, Barb, you could try to do that if you, want. Yeah. if you love the tap and it works and you said it's like really awesome, you could try that and tap that um, the positive, like, you know, I, I can handle this. I can handle this. Yep. I can absolutely handle doing this and figuring this out. Or I, I want peace. This out. I want peace. Yeah. That's one of my favorite ones. I want peace. Yeah. I could choose to release this and be at peace. Ooh, okay. love it. Because you have a choice here. Um, and and if, again, if it's too much, stop. Take a break. You know, kind of remember where you're at. And then, and then come back to it another time. The other thing is that, you know, if it's really too much consistently, you might want to reach out for some help and assistance and, and there's people tapping is so popular there's people in every city so I know that not every all of you are in Rochester and could like come to Tom or I but there's there's really people all over you can do you can try some stuff yourself there's tons of books out there also but there are practitioners yep. all and, around and there. I do it over all the around. internet I do video sessions over the internet so do I. And in my anxiety-free program, I do have a tapping video and the program for kids. It's awesome. Kids respond to tapping really quickly. Oh. And so in the anxiety-free kids program, if you want to know about that, put ask me in the comments and I will get you that information. But um, I have a, a kids program for parents and kids, and I do a tapping thing with my daughter, and it's pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and with little yeah. kids, instead of saying, I deeply and completely accept myself, you say something like, I'm a good kid anyway. I'm a good little boy. I'm a good little girl. That they get. They don't get deep link completely yeah, except right. myself. Like, so you got to be playful with the words. Yeah. All right. It looks like we don't have any more questions. So I'm so glad that you came and just gave them a taste of this. Something that you could do um, on your own. If it gets too intense, uh, it's very rare. So Barb did say that's a, you know, we said it does no harm. And now Barb is saying sometimes it gets too intense for her. But you could obviously take breaks, relax, do some breathing, and also do the positive tapping instead of the fear tapping. And that will really fortify and strengthen you sure. and make you feel, um, you know, really robust 
and give you a good sense of self and feel empowered so that it would, you know, do it that way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and if they have any questions, they can, you know, they can contact you or they can contact me. Absolutely. Contact either of us if you have any questions. You have Tom's website. That's how you find him. And, um, yeah. And I have, so. there's a contact form on there, so you can just um, fill it out and email it, just like on Jody's site. Just like on my and site. My, and my phone number's there, so... Um, yeah, so if you want Either to work one. with him or if you want to try some things on your own, this blows people's minds. So I'm so happy to bring Tom to you. How are you all doing? Y'all happy? And I'm not going to see you for two weeks, but um, sorry, some notifications coming up. I'm not going to see you for two weeks, and I am begging my daughter to come on the radio show with me to talk about the coloring book. And I think I have to bribe her. She's a little shy <laughs> to come on. But uh, my my hope is that in two weeks I'll be on with my daughter and we'll be talking about the coloring book and um, and you know kind of bearing our souls. We'll get her to do some tapping on it. I know. I'll ha <laughs> I'll have her do tapping so she's not quite so nervous. Yep. But um, okay. So I will see you next week. Tune in every Monday at 6 p.m. with me. I'll either be me alone or with a guest on Keep Calm Radio, uh, except for next week. Maybe I'll, I'll just post some old video up there for you. But All right, I love you all. I hope you have a wonderful week. Thank you so much yeah, for being thanks here. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Thanks, Tom. You're Thank welcome. Thank you. Love you both. Thanks, Barbara.